Fred. Why do I keep saying Fred? It's because I'm in love with him. Oh my god, my foot's really asleep. Oh, I just... This doesn't happen. Like, this doesn't happen. What's up, witches? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to give you a little recap of my trip to Universal, plus a little haul. Actually, it's not a little haul. I got a lot, to say the least, but that's okay. It is all magical, wonderful things, and I can't wait to show you. We went last week, my boyfriend and I, and it was magical to say the least. I mean, it was my fourth time this year. I was meaning to vlog it, but I just couldn't focus enough, if that makes sense. Like, I just, I, my headspace was all Harry Potter and I wasn't really focusing on vlogging. So I thought I'd do a little recap. Um, it is still the most magical, beautiful place in the entire world. I think I cried most of the trip. I definitely cried when I got there and I really cried when I left. I'll insert a picture of what I looked like when we left. It was interesting. We stayed at the Aventura Hotel, I think that's how it said. Um, they actually upgraded our room to the 16th floor, which was awesome. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful room. I'll insert clips here as well. So on Monday, the first thing we did was woke up really early so we could catch the shuttle at 7.30 and get to Islands of Adventure by 8. Normally, when I go to Universal, I start at Diagon Alley. They have early parking mission over there, and I just feel like it's the right way to do it, if that makes sense. We go to Diagon Alley first, get all our shopping needs, get our Gringotts coins, and then take the train over to Hogwarts. It just, that feels right to me. But this time, we switched that up. We went to Islands of Adventure first, because we really, really, really wanted to get on Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. And we were so early that we were able to walk just right through the queue which kind of made me sad because the queue is so crazy. It's supposed to be the ruins of the Forbidden Forest where Hagrid has been hatching and taking care of magical creatures. There's also little details from like students sneaking in there. Like there's, I didn't see this myself, but I saw on Instagram a couple days ago that they actually have like a heart with a J and an L for James and Lily. And I was just made my heart happy and everything like you don't know what to look at because there's so much going on and it's, it's insane. So they have you sit in either the sidecar or the motorbike. I chose to do the sidecar first because I didn't really know what to expect and I'm always a little iffy about roller coasters. And it was so cute because there was a father in front of us who he had ridden the coaster before and he turned around and he goes, get ready because once you get off of this coaster you will not stop smiling. And he was so right. I was like grinning from ear to ear for the rest of the day. You get to see so many magical creatures. You get to see Hagrid's Blasted and Scroots. You get to see Fluffy, Cornish Pixies, some centaurs. And my favorite was at the end. They have a unicorn there with her baby. And I started crying. I started crying because I was so happy. And it just, it made me feel so emotional. And that was just my first time on it. And it was, it was great. It was great. The next day, we did the same thing. This time, I rode on the motorbike, and I don't want to ride it any other way ever. I don't know why I was scared the first time, because the motorbike, it was like you were actually driving a motorcycle and, like, flying Hagrid's motorcycle. It You were going so fast, and you're holding onto the handlebars, and you're just, like, zooming through, and it was, I had the biggest smile on my face the entire time and for hours after that dad was definitely right. The only day that we actually waited to go on the ride was the last day because I just really felt the need that I needed to go on it one last time. We waited about an hour which was a lot because we got there later because it was 100% worth it and I, really, I got to take in more of the queue and get to look at little details like they have a sketch of Fox and they have the Ravenclaw tagline whip beyond measures your man is a man's greatest treasure. I thought that was really sweet and they had so much more. There's this one room that I want to model my whole house over. We rode it for the last time and I was very emotional all day Friday because I always get very emotional when we leave. So I was tearing up a little bit, but that's okay. We also did, of course, go to Diagon Alley and rode Gringotts probably 10 to 15 times. I loved Hagrid's and I love Forbidden Journey, but I think Gringotts is like a really awesome mix of both 
thrill and story. Forbidden Journey for me is a very nostalgic, meditative experience, if that sounds weird, but it's just, it's magical. And then Hagrid's is just all thrill, like all thrill. Little story, but all thrill. And I think Gringotts is like the perfect mix. Cause I also wrote Forbidden Journey about 10 to 15 times, just when I needed to calm down, honestly. We spend a lot of time in the rest of the park as well. The Incredible Hulk coaster is Chris and I's favorite ride to do together. We always wait for the front and every time we are laughing and screaming our heads off because it's so much fun. What I think everybody in my life that I've been to Universal with agrees on is The Mummy. We rode that about 10 to 15 times as well. We all believe that that's the best ride in the park because it's again like that perfect mix of story and coaster but it's also like a true coaster like it's there's no 3d it's all in front of you and it just feels it feels nostalgic and I'm also a big mummy fan it was just it was a wonderful experience Chris is my favorite person to go with because I just feel like we move at our own pace which matches up really well our feet are ruined like still I have shin splints because the amount of walking that we did we spent like 10 to 13 hours in the park every day because I'm crazy and he puts up with me now, let us get into all of the stuff that I bought, which is a lot. I save all of my money so I can buy copious amounts of Harry Potter things. I really hurt my bank account this week. <laughs> I think the most important thing that I bought this week was the 19 butterbeers that I drank, plus the two butterbeer ice creams. I have a real addiction to that stuff. It is so good and the foam on the top, oh my goodness. Every time we just like chilled out and relaxed or I, we were walking to the other park or we getting on the train, I got a butterbeer. I also got two other butterbeer ice creams which I think are is the best ice cream ever created. I would like it packaged and sold in stores, please. Because of my obsession with butterbeer, I have been looking at this sweatshirt uh, the first three times that I went, but I didn't, like, it's brown, so I didn't really bite the bullet, but it says Butterbeer. It's so cozy. I got it in the biggest size I could, which is a large, because they didn't have any extra larges, but it's so cozy. Yeah, I believe this was $60, but yeah, it's a nice, nice little sweater with the logo of Butterbeer. Because of my first time on Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure, I got the t-shirt that they were selling. It's got Hagrid flying up here, and he's got centaurs, Cornish pixies, unicorns, Fluffy, and the blast ended skirts. I love this t-shirt. It feels like kind of like an old school movie poster t-shirt, and I think that's why I liked it so much, and I was not gonna leave without it. Oh, also the stuff that I have on my body right now I got. I got this Quidditch Hogwarts shirt with a little snitch on it. I'm always a little irritated because they always choose red for like the Hogwarts stuff, which is just biased towards Gryffindor and I'm a Slytherin, so. I also got these sweatpants, again with the red. They just have a little Hogwarts crest on them and they're like super cute and just super cozy joggers. I obviously I have not changed the left, right? Mm -mm. Kidding, these I washed these last night. All right, what else did I get? Speaking of joggers um, slash pajama pants, comfy clothes, I got these Slytherin sweatpants. I actually have these in the shorts version and I saw these and I was like, eh, it's winter coming. Let's just get another pair. So I got these and they're super cozy. I think these were like $35. Again, with more pants, I really went winter shopping when I was down there. I got these leggings and they have like a gold foiled Hogwarts crest just like at the end on your calf. They're so cozy. They're so soft. These were like $35 as well. And I, I love them. They're not like too thick either. So I was wearing them in the park and I wasn't like sweating because it was 95 degrees there. But it was, it, they're really, really nice. And the detailing is just awesome. I also bought, or actually Chris bought me um, a Slytherin scarf. I actually have a Gryffindor scarf from that like three month period where I thought it was a Gryffindor. And then I took the quiz and it turns out I'm a Slytherin. I don't know if you can see it, but it's up on my bookshelf. Like it's kind of like a runner. I really wanted one that I can wear for winter. And so I, he bought me this and it's so cozy. I'm, I'm so excited for it to get cold. I just want to wear all of this stuff all the time. Speaking of getting cold, I bought two things that I won't be able to wear until the dead of winter because they are Scottish wool, 100% Scottish wool. I got 
the Slytherin jumper. I'm so excited to wear it. I mean, it's really cool because it's kind of like at the bottom, you have, it's like lower in the back. It's got like that high-low stylo. <laughs> high-low stylo. It's got that high-low style. Um, I think we have a guest. Hi, come here. Oh, bless us. Say hello to everybody. Her name is Bellatrix. She's kind of a bitch like Bellatrix, but she likes to give kisses, which I think is really cute because I've never met a cat who likes to kiss as much as this cat. Along with that sweater, I got another sweater. And this one is like the official uniform cardigan with like the green detailing at the bottom. I already had the Slytherin cloak. So I'm just completing the uniform. The only thing left I need is a tie. To go along with the uniform, I got the official headband. I wear my hair up like 90% of the time and it's always cuter with a headband. And now I've got this Slytherin one, which I love. I of course stopped at Honey Dukes and got too much candy. Couldn't leave without some chocolate frogs. I actually got four, two of them are gifts, but these two are mine. Every box that I got was Rowan and Ravenclaw, which nothing against Ravenclaws, but I've been really trying to get that Slytherin card. I'll give them to Ravenclaws that I know. Not that I know many. I actually only know two. Shout out to my brother and Sarah. Next from Honey Dukes is the Peppermint Toads. I could, <laughs> I could eat these for hours. It's um, Peppermint Toads made with dark chocolate. They are really minty and they're delicious and I love the packaging. I can never get over Harry Potter packaging. I restocked on uh, the Sherbet Lemons. I always get them when we're down there and I put them in my Honey Dukes jar that I bought the third time I was there. So No, second time I was there with my best friend Maddie. We actually got matching ones. But yeah, I always refill them. But as you can see, it was up to here when I bought them. But as I'm noticing now, my sister has been sneaking in here and eating them. That's why they're down here. Emma. I'm coming for you. Also, I got one of the mixtures that you can get from Eternal's Elixir of Refreshments. This time I got the Babbling Beverage Mixture, which was like a fruit punch flavor. And to make it like magical, you buy a bottle of Gilly Water. Of course I saved the bottle. Just dump it in and it turns your water a magical color and you feel like you're drinking a potion. The last couple times I was there, I bought two more. One was the Draught of Peach, which was blue raspberry, and the Elixir to Induce Euphoria, which was the green apple. You're basically just buying sugar to put in water for $9, but you know, it's worth it. You feel magical. So I actually got a pop socket as well, but I'm going to have to insert a clip of that because it's actually on the back of my phone, which I'm filming on right now. Now, the last two things that I got are my, <laughs> are my favorite, but they're also toys. I'm a 20 year old girl who buys Harry Potter toys. Can, are we shocked? I'm not. None of my family are either. I got Hedwig. I got Hedwig. I love her. She's actually a puppet, which always bothered me, which is why I haven't gotten her before. And then I saw someone just like hanging out with her and like doing this. And I was like, oh, I want her. I love her. I'm so happy. She's actually going to go up on the top shelf over there. Let me just move this so you can see it. The very last thing that I got was actually the toy deluminator that comes with this lantern that the deluminator turns on and off. When I tried it for the first time, I was like jumping for joy. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Chris thought I was a crazy person, but that's nothing new. So that was my universal haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was and if you've ever been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Also, if you want to, you can leave a like and subscribe. I plan on posting hopefully every single Saturday or so. Don't hold me to that because I don't really know yet. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Bye!